DS host, confuse, instant playback. And the last one is system idle protection. Okay. So first we talk about object index and monitor. Object index is a function we use to, to capture the, the moving object in the camera. Sometimes we might use uh, motion detect to, to, for recording, but sometimes we, 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 even, we don't even know which object is moving, even it's recording. So uh, this function can just capture, do a snapshot for us. To enable this function, we need to go to the system config and click uh, object index and monitor. We choose all the cameras we need, and then go to config, enable the camera, and then just assign a location for this. And after the setting, we can just uh, start to record. At this moment, we can run a live object index window. If we open the window, and this window can show us uh, the latest 50 images. And then we can also search the object index. We can search all the, up, uh, all the images we have saved. We roughly, we give a time, a period of time. And then you can see that all the cameras we, we have set as uh, object index channels will be in blue color. And, we, and this, uh, uh, this is the uh, result of all the search data. We can also double click to play back. which means it will focus on, on the, the person's face and to snap, do a snapshot shot for you. As for the object monitor, uh, there are two methods. Uh, the first one is unattended deca object detection, and uh, the second one is a missing object detection. To use these two functions, also we come to this uh, object monitor setup tab. And we enable this camera and choose unattended objects. And, uh, First of all, we need to define the size of the object. We give it a maximum size and a minimum size. This is quite flexible since all objects with sizes between the maximum and minimum size will be detected in this camera. And also, we need to save a reference image. Now we can see a demo here. When someone has left the unattended belonging, and the system will start to serve, uh, to, to detect. And once it detects something unattended, it will show you a flashing box. Another one is a missing object function. Also, we need to define the objects. But something you need to keep in mind is that the, the mask the region you are drawing must be a little bit smaller than the real object. If you draw a region which is bigger than the real, real object, then it may, there may be some possibility that it cannot detect correctly. Now we can see a demo here. Now this system has detected that the projector has been stolen. Now we talk about the live disabled alarm region. This is a new function we have from version 8. Some users, they might have I.O. device or they, they may invoke alarm when, they, when their object monitor has detected something. Then, but some users may think that I.O. Uh, I module is can be, could be quite annoying since they have already uh, known the message. They have to know something has been stolen or something has been left. But they, they want to stop the, the I.O. module. But they, however, they cannot just stop recording. They, they must keep everything going. So in this case, we have this function. This function allows users to stop all the I.O. modules or, or, or the uh, alarm which, which was invoked 
by the object monitor function. Now we'll show you a demo with the unattended, unattended object detection and a live disabled alarm. There was nothing in the camera, but now we have a, a, a whiteboard pen cap here. Once it detects this cap, after five seconds, you will pop out the window and ask it to confirm if you want to disable the, the out, output module or the alarm. After we, we click yes, then the I.O. module and the alarm has been disabled. And here we can see in the system log, it, it, it was registered as an unattended object here. We can also double click to play back the whole event. Here we can also see that it is our last function that's an embedded alarm, embedded alarm region into recorded video. Before, in the previous version of software, we cannot record this flashing box in the video clip. But from version 8.0, we start to support this. And this, this function also supports all, all codecs we have. Are you going to discuss the face thing later? Yeah, uh, actually, we're we are going to have another session. We're talking about this tomorrow. Yeah. Now we come to. On this object, we're talking about lighting changes. Lighting changes. Lighting changes. Missing objects. If I, if I enable missing object, yeah. and then we go out of here and I turn off the over and lights, I get an alarm that says the object is missing. Uh, actually, we have a function, it's a luminous change detection. Yeah. Uh, we'll save a reference image, and if the light has changed, the luminous has changed, then this function can prevent some mis uh, misjudgment, maybe, or we'll, we'll judge it was a uh, shadow or some, some kind of obstacles. Yeah, the, other, the other way is that you can, you can, because we can save a reference. So for that, is, for that kind of condition, you can turn on the lights and save, the, save us a, a reference. Yeah. But when the lights are off, the objects yeah, are yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be is, a problem. Can you schedule object? Is, that, is this something you can put into the schedule? Object monitoring or missing object? No. No. Right now, no. So far, we don't have a schedule object monitoring. Now we will discuss them with our key engineer. Or disable by, disable by input output or something. Because right now it's useless. Unless you have a room that has a constant amount of light in it, it doesn't do you any good. Because most places have either all, you know, open hours or closed hours. And if you enable this feature in any of those locations, it, it won't work because the lighting levels change when they leave for the night. So you have to be able to disable it somehow, either by input output, you know, a pen, or by schedule, either way. Yeah, OK. Right. Thank you for the session. And we might try to put it in the uh, following uh, version of the session. Yeah, what's, the, what's the real application you will use? I mean, what's the real applications for this uh, missing object? In well, what kind of uh, conditions? Yeah, missing object would be like uh, equipment in back rooms that gets moved and things like that. That's a real common thing. Unattended object is, is a missing object is a good one because the actual application we want to use it in is everyone has to have in, in the U.S. away from an exit door, you have an area marked and you cannot put any material into that area. If you put material into that area, a fire department comes in, they can find you for obstructing the exit. So what we want to do is be able to draw a box around that area that's written off and then even though at night when they lower the lights it goes to a night lighting level, we want an alarm if anything's inside that area, inside that box that's outside the reference image. Now, there's other brands of DVRs that actually monitor the amount of light over a 24-hour period, you know, what happens. So that there's smart technology to where they can recognize, you know, the lighting changes and such, and that's how they handle it. But even if we get, you know, even if we had two constant light levels or two reference images, maybe, uh, here's what it looks like with the lights on, and here's what it looks like with the lights off. If it deviates outside these two, then we need an alarm. Then what we can do is anytime anybody puts something in the fire exit, we get an alarm, whether it's at night or not at night. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. 